Today we're doing a full body postpartum strength workout to get strong and toned after pregnancy. I will use a set of 10 pound and five pound dumbbells. Use a weight that feels safe and good for you. If you don't have weights, you can always use filled up water bottles or cans of beans and you'll still get a great workout in. We'll start with a warm up before we grab our dumbbells. We can take our feet wide apart, shifting our weight back and forth, feeling a nice stretch through your groin. Stepping the feet together, let's stretch our quad opposite arm up switching back and forth. Keeping your knees lined up. Last one here. Good. Let's circle our elbows. Going the other way. Circling out through our wrists. Let's exhale, engage our core, lifting one knee Circling your ankle, going both ways. Switching to the other leg. Good. We're gonna step punch. Let's turn our hips slightly to protect our core. Tiny exhale as you punch. Low impact jumping jack or regular jumping jack if it's safe for you. Let's start by grabbing one dumbbell here. Let's make sure to breathe in 360 degrees to our ribs. Exhale, engage our core. We're gonna start with some goblet squats. Exhale, engage on the way up. We can set up into a lunge position. Getting that back knee close to the ground. Set up on the other side. Bringing your attention back to your core.
not rounding out through your lower back at all. We're gonna switch sides. not letting your ribs pop out at all. We're gonna squat down and then thrust up here. Core nice and strong. Amazing, let's grab our other dumbbell. Glutes shooting back. Switching sides. micro bend in your knee. We're gonna hammer curl up. Amazing, this time we'll row with both arms, core is engaged. We're gonna hinge at the hips here.
Amazing job. We can place these weights down and grab a sip of water. We can grab our lighter set of dumbbells or water bottles now. We're gonna not round out through our lower back at all, come up on our toes between. Core is strong. Last one. Let's take our feet wide apart now. Hands up. Using your lats, we're gonna pull down with resistance. Pressing up. Again, ensuring you're not rounding out through your lower back at all, keeping your core engaged. Moving with control rather than swinging. Holding our arms out to the side. We're gonna come up onto our toes, up and down. Re-engaging your core. Amazing. Keeping your upper arm nice and steady. Squeezing your triceps at the top. Amazing, we're gonna get down onto the mat, keep your weights close by. Lowering down safely on your side and then we'll roll over onto our back. Carefully grabbing your weights, option to keep your feet down or exhale, bringing your knees up, engaging your core, exhale, pressing up.
If you have diastasis recti, you can just place your weights down or option to keep them up. Exhale, will extend or modification toe tap. Engage as you bring your knees down. We can place our weights on top of our hips. Option to also add a Kegel or pelvic floor contraction as you press up. Let's hold at the top, pulsing here. Amazing, release it down. We can place our weights to the side. Let's stretch out, making sure not to let your ribs pop out or flare out. Good, let's cross one ankle, flexing your top foot. Exhale up for a figure four stretch. Take some deeper breaths, relaxing through your pelvic floor. Gently release. Let's take that top leg and just extend the foot towards the ceiling, waking up the back of the leg. Releasing down, crossing over your other leg. Exhale, lifting up. For a deeper stretch, you can gently press your knee away. Bottom foot down, top foot reaches up towards the ceiling. Release down. We have two different options here if you have diastasis recti. Let's open knees to the side, or you can grab your feet for happy baby. If it's safe for you, we can take a reclining twist. Wherever you are, relaxing through your pelvic floor. If you're in your reclining twist, exhale, coming up, moving to the other side. Exhale, coming up. Let's roll right over onto our side. Come up to a kneeling position.
let's shift our hips forward, tuck our tailbones under. We can clasp our elbows or our hands, releasing through our chest, keeping your ribs pulled down and in. You can externally rotate your upper arms. Hands reach away. Exhale, gather your core, come up. Let's shift to the other side. Exhale, release. Let's round out the other way. That was a really challenging workout and you did amazing. I hope this makes your day a little bit better. I would love to know if you enjoyed the dumbbell workouts and if you wanna see more dumbbell workouts, type more dumbbells in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.